Hello everyone, uh, Bean here. Welcome back to Earthbound Beginnings. Last time we were wandering around in the desert, and our friend Scarves passed away, regrettably. But luckily we've made it into this weird little grotto that's full of monkeys. So we're gonna just wander around here for a while and uh, just talk to all the monkeys and see what they have to say. Uh, so far, it's a lot of good things. So a good thing about the Monkey Grotto is that there's no random encounters here, no enemies at all. So normally I would be reticent about walking around in a maze with one of my parties downed, or one of my party members downed, but we're really in no danger down here, which is nice. Great. That is a good story. I'm glad I heard it. Why are all these monkeys down here? Why are they talking? You know? There comes a point where I cannot answer these questions for you, and you simply have to make these decisions for yourself. Truth at the end of the path, eh? Well, I don't really know if straight means left or straight means down. Straight relative to what? I'm kind of at a forced perspective here. Either way, I got a PSI stone, which is a handy item. As you may already know, heal some psychic points. Very hard item to find. Also going to take this opportunity to get rid of those ticket stubs, just taking up some inventory space. Uh, those were for flying around, but I don't need them anymore since I've gotten all the use out of I can out of that guy having used his tank. Another gift, another PSI stone. Uh, we have a total of three PSI stones to find in this, you know, I wouldn't call it a dungeon because there's not really any challenge here, but, you know, I guess maze is more appropriate. And yeah, as you can probably tell, this is just a a recolor of the crystal ca caves at the end of Magicant. So, kind of just a weird little filler space where they just kind of want to toss a lot of strange dialogue. At least this guy gives us a quick capsule, which we'll give to Scarves once she's feeling better. Definitely also into the slow, plotting theme of the Monkey's Grotto. And this will be our third PSI stone. Great. Right, left. This was dead end. That was also not right and left, I don't think. Oh my god. I'm not following these directions, guys. Can't trust any of you crazy monkeys. She's dead. Have some respect, please. Also, she's like eight. What's well, wrong with that? Uh, we found the monkey imitator. We found the boss monkey. Oh boy. Each of these monkeys has their own story to tell, it seems like. Take a rest, bud, is a really good thing to hear coming out of a monkey. I mean, frankly, all this dialogue is great to hear out of monkeys. Love it. Love the writing in this game. You probably hold, heard me extol it before, but this game is fantastically written, fantastically translated. Yeah, right.
Now this looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Another one of these XX horns. Sure enough, takes us right to Magicant. You know it, you love it, it's Magicant. Free healing, sick defensive items, flying men, a castle, the whole nine yards. Same Magicant you've seen all through the game. Only real significant thing about this trip to Magicant is now... It's not going to spit us out at the usual place before it would spit us out just outside of Marysville. But now that we've taken the Monkey's Grotto path, Magicant will always spit us out here, just southeast of the Yucca Desert. Right by the train tracks. That's convenient. At least I think it's convenient. Now we're entering into this shady, overgrown territory that we flew over a bit before. Hit up the non-functional train station. Aww. Guy. Anyways, let's venture deep into the weird, overgrown section. And we'll find ourselves at the gates of Youngtown. Another overworld music shift when entering here. Just a little perspective for you. So, Youngtown is the place where Snowman when we went to Snowman, and we met Scarves, Scarves said, Last we saw of Mom, she was going to Youngtown. We better go there, so that we can find our Mom. When we arrive, we find that this guy's doing math, and we also find that, sure enough, all the parents have been abducted from Youngtown. We get a free hotel out of the deal, which is pretty sweet. Save a few bucks, don't mind if I do. Aww. And over to the right here, we see the store still running, which is, you know, polite of this kid. We don't have much money right now, so we're not going to buy anything, but... We got a stronger weapon for Stumpy, a stronger weapon for Scarves, and some good stuff all around. So, up until now the game's been very, very silly. I mean, we did just walk through a cave full of monkeys. This area is a bit of a tonal shift. It's the first... we're not going to cross this bridge just yet. Uh, it's the first kind of actually upsetting part of the game. It's kind of it's kind of sad and melancholy around here. I mean, all these poor kids are just stranded out here. And it's... Aww. It's, you know... Maybe I'm a little silly. Maybe I'm soft, but... Something about wandering around Youngtown and seeing all these helpless kids hits me in the heart in a weird way. This is also the first time... Uh, up until now, the stakes in the game have basically been... Get the eight melodies, and also there's monsters everywhere. This, this is the game's real first stab at trying to give you some real deal stakes. There's not just monsters roaming around. Now there are people too affected by this vague threat that we still don't really know much about. And of course, it's a pretty somber area, but but let's talk to this baby with our mind for a sec.
Good. Great. That's, that's a handy power. Thank you, baby. So, you know. It is a somber area, all the kids are sad, but at least we learned how to teleport from a baby. I think that's pretty much all the buildings. Oh no, there's one more actually. One more building that can be entered. This church down here has a round door. But when we enter, there's no one in here. That's a spooky touch and a somber touch. You can interpret that how you'd like. This has been Youngtown. I've been Bean. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. And hopefully, we can help out all these stranded kids.